Uh, thanks indeed, Honorable Chairperson. We, when we supported the initial suspension uh, of Ms. L.B. Freeman as a senior magistrate in Mosulbury, we expressed shock at the depth of her misconduct. Failure to pick up that Ms. Freeman was convicted of theft and sentenced to imprisonment bank in 1993, and that she never disclosed this when applying to be a magistrate is a serious weakness on the part of the department. It is a serious shame that the system allowed the thief to ascend our judicial bench as a magistrate in 2006 and promoted this very thief to a senior magistrate in 2017. It is at the level of the lower courts that most of our people's access to justice is determined. Judges at this level must be beyond reproach as all judges at any level, highly competent and command the highest credibility in the eyes of all our people. It may very well be that one of the key reasons for overcrowding in correctional centers is because our bench is presided over by crooks like Freeman, a serious plight on the administration of justice. Even though Ms. Freeman tendered her resignation belatedly to the Magistrates Commission, it's only right that Parliament officially endorses her removal from office. But we must ask if removal from the bench is enough. The magistrate in question is found guilty of 29 charges relating largely to corruption when she falsely claimed reimbursements for transport. In one instance, she lied that she was, receiving, she was driving an A4 with a big engine capacity when in fact she was driving an Uno. In another instance, she lied about attending an inspection in loco when in fact she was not. She did all this lying so as to corruptly benefit from taxpayers' money. Should she not pay back all the false claims that she made and failure to do those face Failure to do so must she not face imprisonment. Surely, removal from the bench is not enough. Let us hope that the NPO of Batoy, which prides itself of fighting corruption, does not have to be told to pursue this case. Let's hope that it will be telling, it will not be telling us of some lack of skills to prosecute such matters. The judge must be brought to the book until the final analysis. The EFF supports the report and further calls on all South Africans never to grow weary of reporting corrupt judges who must cleanse our benches of all crooks. Thank you very much.